What's going on? I'm Dan, this is my shop, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make four modern walnut desk accessories using only the table saw. First step, find a piece of scrap wood that will fit the length of your pen or pencil. I'm using the finest in writing, the Dixon Ticonderoga. And then I'm setting my bevel to about 16 and a half degrees. You could go above or below that just a little bit. And then you'll notice I'm using this very handy jig that goes over my fence in order to secure the piece as I rip that down. You'll also notice that I'm going to rip this just short of meeting at the middle because I wanted to sneak up to that and not end up cutting all the way through where you're then gonna have some kind of mess that you have to sand out or try to deal with. By sneaking up on it, you can get right to that midpoint. And then as you do that, the piece is going to release itself. And unfortunately, as you'll see here, maybe release your clamps a little bit. There's probably a little bit better way to clamp this, but like most things in the shop, if it worked, it was probably all right. And in this case, it worked just fine, as you'll see here and I just have to do a tiny bit of sanding and that's going to be perfect. But before that, I wanted to also add a little bevel to the sides because I thought it'd make it look a little bit nicer. Kind of looks like a bow tie to me. And I think it gives it kind of that slick, clean look that I'm gonna like to look at on the desk. It also will help me if I need to pick it up. And after a coat of stain, it's looking really good. This could be a really nice gift for someone. It can also just clean up your desk. And you might ask, well, why do you need a pencil holder? That seems ridiculous. And it is kind of, but it is also a place where your pencil can live. It can just sit there and be ready for you. So you're not always looking for that pen or pencil. You have it always in the same place and you put it there to end your session. But if you're looking for something maybe even easier and maybe even more helpful than this pencil holder, check out this SD card holder, which is about as easy as it gets. It's two rips on the table saw because the kerf of a standard blade is going to fit your SD card perfectly. Again here, you can use another scrap piece of wood, which makes this a really nice project, especially if you're building a desk like I am that all of this will be featured on that video is forthcoming but what I did here is I used that same bevel angle to cut both sides so that it would match that pencil holder I thought that'd be nice to have that continuity now if you're worried about my fingers in that last shot uh, I think the video angle makes it look closer than it was uh, I felt totally safe there but you want to be really careful of course at your table saw then here you just line up however many rows you want of SD card readers, and I wanted two. So I found two spaces that I thought were appropriate, and I used that same bevel to cut an angle so that the SD cards lean backwards rather than if you cut it straight up and down, they have a tendency to want to fall forward. So I used my gripper this time and ran that over the blade twice to get those grooves so that those SD cards can nicely sit in there. I think mine ends up storing approximately eight SD cards per stretch, so that's 16 total, which is way more than I would ever use. And once you've mastered these two beautiful modern pieces, it's time to move on to something a little bit more complicated, but actually really simple when it comes down to it. And that is a taller, deeper box and a shallower, longer box to hold all those kind of accessories you might have on the desk that you need to make sure to put out of sight. So I had sitting around a former chair bottom and I was able to rip that into strips that I would use for the boxes. But it was three quarter inches thick and I realized I needed to rip that down to make thinner strips. Now, typically I would just use the bandsaw to rip this down, but I wanted to deal with this whole thing on the table saw. And so I took it through the blade and just slowly raising it up each time was able to rip a whole bunch of really thin pieces so the thickness of the box 
ended up being about a quarter of an inch, which I liked. Very minimal, very simple. Then I took that and did a cross cut at 45 degrees on each side, which obviously allows you to make a box. I like to set it up and just check out how it will fit, make sure those angles worked out before. I then ripped a rabbit in the end of each piece. And the nice thing about cutting those 45s first is that when you do your rabbit, they're not gonna show when you put it together. You're gonna be able to just drop a bottom in there and it's gonna be really simple. Also simple is when you set your camera on the table saw and then it turns on and your camera falls. So sorry about that. I then just took my sander and cleaned up that rabbit and used some blue tape to put the box together. You've seen this in other videos I've done or I'm sure elsewhere on YouTube. It's, I'd say like one of the first tricks you wanna learn if you're making boxes with a 45 degree angle because it's just gonna save you a ton of time with trying to clamp in awkward ways blue tape or strapping tape works incredibly well doesn't leave any marks and you can just glue it up and wrap the whole thing it is I kid you not the most satisfying thing when you flip those ends around and have a perfectly good looking box so here's that shot of me finishing this box and securing that tape and to not rob you of what the deeper box looks like. Here I am finishing that one. So nice. Once those boxes are dried, the glue's all set. Then I just check the measurements for dropping in an, a 1 8 inch thick piece of walnut plywood. Now you might be asking why not use solid wood for the bottom, and you could. But in this case, with the expansion contraction, all that kind of stuff, I just didn't want it to blast out the bottom of that box at all. And you're never going to see the bottom or anything like that. And just a solid piece of 1 8 inch plywood will work really well to still create a nice aesthetic piece. With my measurements on that blue piece of tape, I'm able to rip those down fairly easily and quickly so that then I can transfer those over to the bottoms of the boxes and glue those in. But if you've survived that, you can test fit your piece, make sure the right side is up, glue in those bottoms, and you'll have yourself a beautiful desk box that will store all of your little knickknacks. And just like that, we have four amazing desk accessories that are going to be super sleek, modern, and easy to build with only using your table saw. Now the first one we looked at was that V-Groove pencil holder. And again, do you need a pencil holder on your desk? No, but do you? Do you? Maybe. The second one is that SD card holder, which turned out really well. I'm going to use this a lot because I like to be able to switch out my SD cards and just having them on display adds a little bit um, of an illustration of what I do each day with my time. The last two are going to be the most effective for me because these are going to sit right underneath my monitor stand that'll be on the desk in a video forthcoming, so get ready for that. It's going to be amazing. But these things are going to do wonders with holding a lot of my little accessories that I keep around the desk and I want to keep tucked away when I don't need them. And they look nice, they're sleek, and again, so easy only using the table saw. If you want to see more of this content, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe. Otherwise, thanks for watching. See you around.